to the Lord. Let your songs be sung from mountains Sing a new song unto the Lord. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My dear friends, as we gather today to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins and ask God's mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you came to gather us into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, O merciful God, protection in our weakness, that we who keep the memorial of the Holy Mother of God may with the help of her intercession rise up from our iniquities. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Kings. When the Lord was about to take Elijah up to heaven in the whirlwind, he and Elisha were on their way from Gilgal. Elijah said to Elisha, Please stay here. The Lord has sent me on to the Jordan. As the Lord lives, and as you yourself live, I will not leave you. Elisha replied. And so the two went on together. Fifty of the guild prophets followed, and when the two stopped at the Jordan, they stood facing them at a distance. Elijah took his mantle, rolled it up, and struck the water, which he divided, and both crossed over on dry land. When they had crossed over, Elijah said to Elisha, Ask for whatever I may do for you before I am taken from you. Elisha answered, May I receive a double portion of your spirit? You have asked something that is not easy, Elijah replied. Still, if you see me taken up from you, your wish will be granted. Otherwise, not. As they walked on conversing, a flaming chariot and flaming horses came between them, and Elijah went up to heaven in the whirlwind. When Elisha saw it happen, he cried out, My father, my father, Israel's chariots and drivers. But when he could no longer see him, Elisha gripped his own garment and tore it in two. Then he picked up Elijah's mantle that had fallen from him, and went back and stood at the bank of the Jordan, wielding the mantle that had fallen from Elijah. Elisha struck the water in his turn and said, Where is the Lord, the God of Elijah? When Elisha struck the water, it divided, and he crossed over. The word of the Lord. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. How great is the goodness, O Lord, which you have in store for those who fear you, and which towards those who take refuge in you, you show in the sight of the children of men. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. You hide them in the shelter of your presence, 
from the plottings of men. You screen from within your abode from the strife of tongues. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Love the Lord, all you his faithful ones. The Lord keeps those who are constant, but remore then requites those who act proudly. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. Otherwise, you will have no recompense from your heavenly Father. When you give alms, do not allow a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, to win the praise of others. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your almsgiving may be secret, and your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites who love to stand and pray in the synagogues and on street corners so that others may see them. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go to your inner room, close the door, and pray to your Father in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. They neglect their appearance so that they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face so that you may not appear to others to be fasting except to your Father who is hidden. And your Father who sees what is hidden will repay you. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus in the Gospel of Matthew today is simply reminding his disciples and all of us to do things from the heart from the innermost intentions of your heart. And nobody can see that. And sometimes, you know, when people do things like spectacularly, you begin to wonder what is in this person's mind and heart. But the Lord today is teaching us if we are to do good, to give alms, if we are to, to pray, if we are to help, let that be known only to you and to God. And that is why your Father who sees what is hidden will repay you. So for God, what is important, as Jesus was pointing out, is not doing things secretly or like secretly as if nobody will know but rather do it out of the purest of intention and when we say that what we are saying really is we do things that is not well known only you and God and so therefore the intentions the fruits of the intentions will eventually come out and in the end 
it will be the fruits that will benefit not the one who is giving or doing it, but rather to whom it is meant to be. It's not always easy because human beings would like to have recognition. They would like to be recognized for what they're doing. And it feels good. And it's true. But that is the human, you know, telling us, I would like to feel good. I would like to feel happy. And that is why sometimes, you know, prayers are God's instrument to make us feel good. But in the end, we still have to ask the question, why do you pray? And then what are you praying for? And eventually, if you really examine it closely, there is a little, little amount of selfishness there even. I pray because. I pray because. And what I pray is this. So what the Lord really would like us to be and not to do, He would like us to be His disciples whose only interest is to glorify God. Even in the good things that we do, like giving alms, like, you know, praying. But rather, He would like us to be men and women who are not simply doing these things for the sake of recognition. You will have that reward. And God knows what kind of reward you will receive. But the most important thing is, what and why are you doing these things? So if that is true, the intention is honest, the intention is pure, as the gospel said, your father who sees what is hidden will repay you. He will do the awarding, if you might say. He will do, he will receive that reward by the father who is hidden also. Amen. Please stand and let us offer our prayers. We pray that the church which draws her life from the Eucharist may worship this mystery with ever deeper faith and devotion. We pray to the Lord. For all who have been made ill by the coronavirus, for all who care for them, and for the governments and people of the world, that we may experience the healing mercy of the Lord, we pray to the Lord that all God's children may have sufficient bread for their physical life and the bread of life for their spiritual life, we pray to the Lord. That all the faithful departed may share the eternal life that Jesus promised to those who feed on the bread from heaven, we pray to the Lord. Let us pray together with our patron, St. Catherine of Siena, for all our intentions. Let us pray for the intentions of Pope Francis for the month of June and the intentions of the parishioners of St. Catherine of Siena. For all this, let us pray to the Lord. Father, may we who worship the mystery of the Lord's body and blood always experience within us the power of His redemption. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. For the praise and glory of His name, who are good and good of all His church. As we honor the memory of the mother of your Son, we pray, O Lord, that the oblation of this sacrifice may by your grace make of us an eternal offering to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds and the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one, by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Receive our prayers and intentions, especially as we pray for Janet Cordero, for Elizabeth Cruz, Eleanor Santos. For the intentions of Josep Velasco, Crescencia Lopena, Julita Ignacio, the intentions of Simon and Tess Paculan, receive the prayers and intentions of Ren and Christ Christine Gutierrez. We pray for the intentions of Jane Rodriguez. 
Maurice Guloran on his birthday. Receive also the prayers and intentions of Dwight and Chita Tabanlar, of Neil and Ami Nakagiri. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Receive our prayers for Rose Mendoza, George Floyd, and all those who have died because of COVID-19, those who have died afraid, lonely, alone, and suffering. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Catherine of Siena, Saint Pio Pietrel China, Saint Peregrine, Saint Faustina, Saint Jose Maria Scriva, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nohobi, Agnus Dei, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pahacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us all go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Immaculate Mary, we sing We Jesus, our King, Ave, 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 Ia, Ave, Ave. We will now pray the novena to our Mother of Perpetual Help. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Brothers and sisters, as children of our Blessed Mother, we are gathered before the most blessed sacrament and her miraculous picture to honor her and to pray for all our needs, unworthy children that we are, 
let us first of all ask God's mercy and pardon. Merciful Father, you sent your divine Son to redeem us by his death and resurrection and to give us new life. By this you make us your children, to love one another in Christ. How many times in the past we have forgotten this sublime dignity. We have sinned against our brothers and sisters. We have offended you. Merciful Father, forgive us. Repenting sincerely of our sins, we ask your mercy. May we always live as your truly devoted children. Novena Prayer. Dear Mother of Perpetual Help, from the cross Jesus gave you to us for our mother. You are the kindest, the most loving of all mothers. Look tenderly on us, your children, as we now ask you to help us in all our needs, especially this one. While you were on earth, dear mother, you willingly shared in the sufferings of your son. Strengthened by your faith and confidence in the fatherly love of God, you accepted the mysterious designs of his will. We too have our crosses and trials. Sometimes they almost crush us to the ground. Dearest mother, share with us your abundant faith and confidence in God. Make us aware that God never ceases to love us, that he answers all our prayers in the way that is best for us. Strengthen our hearts to carry the cross in the footsteps of your divine Son. Help us to realize that he who shares the cross of Christ will certainly share his resurrection. Dearest Mother, as we worry about our own problems, let us not forget the needs of others. You always loved others so much. Help us to do the same. While praying for our intentions and for the intentions of all here present at this novena, we earnestly ask you, our mother, to help us comfort the sick and the dying, give hope to the poor and the unemployed, heal the brokenhearted, lighten the burden of the oppressed, teach justice to their oppressors, and bring back to God all those who have offended him. Dearest Mother, help us to avoid sin, which separates us from our Heavenly Father and from one another. Full of trust in you, we place ourselves under the mantle of your maternal protection and confidently hope for your powerful help. Amen. Prayer for the Home Mother of Perpetual Help, we choose you as queen of our homes. We ask you to bless all our families with your tender motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage bind husbands and wives so closely together that they will always be faithful to each other and love one another as Christ loves his church. We ask you to bless all parents. May they love and cherish their children whom God has entrusted to them. May they always give them the example of a truly Christian life. Help them to bring up their children in the love and fear of God. Bless all children that they may love, honor, and obey their fathers and mothers. To your loving care, we especially entrust the youth of today. Give us all a sense of responsibility that we may do our part in making our home a haven of peace like your own home at Nazareth. We take you as our model. Help us to grow daily in genuine love of God and neighbor so that justice and peace may happily reign in the entire family of mankind. Amen. Petitions to our Mother of Perpetual Help. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Virgin conceived without sin, pray for us. 
our mother of perpetual help. We sinners call to you, loving mother, help us, that we may rejoice with you at Christ's victory over death. Loving mother, help us, that we may be filled with the Holy Spirit and become courageous witnesses of Christ's love for men that we may be more and more like our divine Lord as you were, that we may be meek and humble of heart like your son Jesus, that we may fear losing God's friendship forever by unrepented sin, that we may see Christ's mercy and forgiveness constantly in the sacrament of holy penance, that we may be aware of God speaking to us in the events of daily life, that we may pray daily with love and trust, especially in moments of temptation, that we may realize the value of worshiping God together in the Holy Eucharist, that we may grow in the love of Christ and neighbor by frequent communion, that we may reverence our bodies as temples of the Holy Spirit, that we may strive to be true Christians by our loving concern for others, that we may proclaim the dignity of work by doing our own work conscientiously, that we may forgive from our hearts those who have wronged us, that we may see the evil of seeking our own interest at the expense of others, that we may work for the just distribution of this world's goods, that we may share our talents with others for the good of the community, that we may accept our responsibility in the community in the spirit of genuine service, to pray that the Holy Spirit may guide and strengthen His Holiness, Pope Francis, and all the bishops and the clergy. That we may be blessed with an increase in priestly and religious vocations. That we may bring the knowledge and love of Christ to those who do not know Him. That we may be aware of our dependence in God in the midst of human achievements, that we may be ready at death to enter the home of our Heavenly Father, that we may die at peace with Christ and our fellow men, that we may be comforted at the death of our dear ones by our hope in the risen Lord, to pray that our departed brothers and sisters quickly share in your son's resurrection. Let us pray in silence for our own personal intentions. Holy Mother, help us in our needs. Pray for all the people of God. May all experience your perpetual help. Lord, you gave us Mary to be our mother, ever ready to help us. Grant us the grace to have recourse to her in all our needs. Amen. Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Mother of the Church, you are also our mother of perpetual help. With hearts full of love for you, we consecrate ourselves to your Immaculate Heart so that we may be your devoted children. Obtain for us true sorrow for our sins and fidelity to the promises of our baptism. We consecrate our minds and hearts to you that we may always do the will of our Heavenly Father. We consecrate our lives to you that we may love God better and live not for ourselves but for Christ, your Son, and that we may see him and serve him in others. By this humble act of consecration, dear mother of perpetual help, 
we pledge to model our lives on you, the perfect Christian, so that consecrated to you in life and in death, we may belong to your div divine Son for all eternity. Amen. Thanksgiving Prayer Lord Jesus Christ, truly present in the most blessed Eucharist, we adore you. It has pleased the Father that in you all his fullness should dwell and that through you he should reconcile all things to himself. Grant us the grace to be truly grateful for all that our Father has done for us. Grant that we may be truly sorry for our sins and do penance for them. Through you, we thank the Eternal Father for the gift of life. He has created all wonderful things of this world for us. May we learn to use them well so that through them we may grow in love for him. Above all, we thank our Father for sending you to us as the greatest expression of his love to save us and all creation by your death and resurrection. We thank you, Lord, for giving us your own mother to be our mother of perpetual health. May the countless favors we have received through her intercession, and especially through this novena, inspire us to greater confidence in God's loving mercy and her perpetual help. Grant that we may always do the holy will of God and persevere in his love. To the most holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be honor, glory, and thanksgiving forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for the sick. Lord Jesus Christ, you bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows in order to show us clearly the value of human weakness and patience. Graciously hear our prayers for the sick. Grant that those who are weighed down with pain and other affliction of illness may realize that they are among the chosen ones whom you call blessed. Help them to understand that they are united with you in your sufferings for the salvation of the world. Amen. You have given them bread from heaven. Alleluia the source of all happiness. Alleluia. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Memorare. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, and sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly to you, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To you I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in your mercy. Hear and answer me. Amen. Let us sing our closing hymn, Mother of Christ. Mother of Christ, Mother of Christ, what shall I ask of thee? I do not sigh for the For the joys that fade and flee, but Mother of Christ, Mother of Christ, this do I long to see.
pass on a stormy sea. Oh, lift your child as a beacon light to the port where I fain would be. This do I ask of thee. When the voyage is o'er, oh, stand on the shore and show him at last to me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sunrise to sunrise, I will seek your face. Drawn by the Spirit to the promise of your grace. My heart is found in you, a hope that will abide. presence forever satisfied take me deeper deeper in love with you Jesus hold me close in your embrace take me deeper been before I just want to love you more and more how I long to be deep. 